Hi, Mike Wilson here, and today let's talk about the driver, how to hit it farther, of course, how to hit it straighter, and more solid. Now with the driver, first things first, let's get you set up nice and square, which will help you turn properly in your backswing. So as you set into the ball, make sure that as you're setting in, doing some, some practice, get your feet nice and square to your target line. Do your best to get your shoulders also square to your target line. I do see a lot of players with open shoulders or shoulders sitting this way, and that tends to create more of that reverse pivot, more of that coming across the shot, which puts the slice on the ball. So try to make sure to get yourself nice and square first. This will also help you with the spine tilt, getting behind the ball, which we'll talk about in a minute. Crucial thing, get nice and square. As you do that, you'll find that it's easier to turn. You'll find a nice full backswing is much easier to achieve if you start with a square position. If you start open, well, you just have that much farther to go to try to get all the way back over here to hit the shot. So number one, get in there nice and square. Obviously, balance posture, something like this. Balance between your heels and your toes for your posture. Not too bent over, not too tall. But a lot of it has to do with are you square, especially with your shoulders, to allow you to get as good a backswing as you can going back. Now next we'll work on the swing plane or the angle of the swing and talk a little bit about where you should approach the ball from to allow yourself to be the best driver that you can be. Okay, as you can see, I got my buddy the pool noodle set up here to help work on the swing plane. If you're gonna hit it solid and if you're gonna put some draw spin on it, uh, that will help you hit the ball farther and of course more accurately. If you're coming across the ball like a slicer would, you put more of a counter spin on it, the ball tends to slice off to the right and go shorter. So let's put this plane line in here, or this noodle, and to show where the plane should be. Any of you have had a lot of lessons from me working on your driver, you're well acquainted with the plane. If you haven't worked on the plane, you seem to be fading the ball, or certainly not hitting it in the center of the club in the sweet spot, you're prob probably off plane. So the plane or the angle the club swings on, Looks something like this. As you're coming down, it's so important your club's coming in and approaching on an angle like that. Very often you'll see players crashing through this thing, or they would be if it wasn't here, which will then put a lot of slice spin on. It can also hit the ball off to the left, you know, way out toward these rocks you'd see in the background. But typically it's gonna start the ball left and then curve it back to the right. So if you're going to hit the sweet spot of your driver and get more, more distance by just solid contact, it's vital that you learn to get the club up here to the top and start to come down in such a way you would always come down underneath this and that will start to set you up for success. So if you have that image, you're in good shape. The most critical part of that is what happens at the top of your swing. At the top of your swing, if you have even a little slight movement outward where the club moves this way and then tries to dip under, that will throw the shot off. It's vital that at the top of your swing that you're set up in such a way the club starts down and shallows as we call it or comes down more like this right away and then it will swing out to the ball nicely more consistently from that angle. We'll take a look in a minute from the front view and see how the setup really affects your ability to come down on plane or on a nice shallow approach angle. Okay looking at the swing from the front view like you see here with the camera now I can work on my, my setup and really try to help myself have an advantage of how to come down under this blue noodle here to get the club coming in on a good shallow approach for the driver. Because what we know with the driver is if the club's coming in along the ground nice and shallow like this, you'll be a really good driver of the golf ball. Anything that's chopping or hitting down into the ground, taking a divot, will not give you a good driver shot. So it's huge that you can learn to let the club come down correctly from the top and a lot of times if people work on this setup position from the front, it will give you the best chance to do that. So what, what do we look for from this angle? Well, first of all, the ball position. The ball needs to be toward the front of your stance, like the left heel. A wider stance than you would certainly with an iron. Feet nice and parallel to my target line. And then my spine angle needs to be tilted back behind the ball or tilted in such a way that my head is a little more back this way to the right relative to an iron shot. So a little more tilted. This will once again allow me to get a little more of an upswing coming up on that ball, a very shallow approach angle. I do see from time to time players that actually set up with their spine tilted forward. 
which then encourages the down chop on a driver. Or they might set up correctly, like this, but then as they're swinging, there's something inverting their spine, creating this type of a movement, which once again gets you to chop on it. Now, one of the best ways to teach yourself the right angle for your, for your spine is to put a, just get in the mirror, look face on in a mirror, and stand there and learn to get yourself tilted slightly to the right. And you, you'll be surprised, but sometimes what looks like a little bit of tilt feels like a lot. But trust me, if you haven't been driving well, chances are your spine's inverting in some way and that's throwing you off. So make sure you can get the spine angle correct. That's gonna look something like that at a dress. And that will help you come down on plane, stay behind it with your head, have more of that kind of a look when you're coming into impact. Now we talk about impact a lot in golf. The last thing I'll, I'll mention is the impact with the driver. With an iron, we talk about hitting down and compressing those iron shots, but with a driver, it's also important that you're not sort of throwing the club head past your hands, which creates a, a club that's sort of hitting across the ball, putting side spin on it, and of course it'll get you hitting all around the side of the club. So once again, as you're set up correctly and coming down correctly, you're much more likely to have your hands just slightly in front like you see here, not having any kind of throwing or move this way, which has that casting look. Very common from the over the top player here that gets that kind of look and then that dreaded chicken wing action on the way through. So making sure that it's coming down under the plane, staying back with your spine angle, hands slightly in front, and that will look like this coming through the ball, face nice and square, hitting the sweet spot. Okay, we talk about power a couple ways with the driver. Number one is if you're set up correctly, you've worked on that and you know you're set up right, number one is are you turning fully in your backswing? And by turning fully, I mean mainly shoulder turn but also hip turn. So if anything's restricting your turn so you don't have enough range of motion, the tendency then will be for you to come down and chop on the ball. You will not swing under this noodle, you'd swing over it. So having a fuller turn, as full a turn as you can have with that tilt will put you in a position like this where my back is facing the target, my hips have turned, and my shoulders have turned, and now it's much easier to come down and sweep into that ball like we talked about earlier. So that's number one. You must turn to your potential comfortably to get the best uh, chance to have power. Now second of all is overall tension. If your swing is just holding tension in your hands, your arms, your neck, wherever the tension is, or if you're approaching that ball and you can just sense that there's massive buildup of tension, the club is going to go much slower. The club simply must have some speed to it to be able to release like that. That's the only way to get some, some power in there. The club is gonna be here when you strike the ball, of course, but then it must, you must let it go. And to let it go, you're gonna to have to take the tension out. So test yourself to make sure that if you're gonna go work on speed or power, number one, if the setup is good, turn fully. And number two, get the tension out so you can allow the free release to happen, a nice full finish, letting the club flow through the hitting zone and giving you a full release and full finish. Okay, that about wraps it up for the driver video. If you have any questions, please let me know. We want you to be driving the ball well, accurately, as long as you can, to set yourself up for success on as many holes as possible. Have a great day.